Hello and welcome to this video on how to create animations in LaTeX part 1. I am Shaktur Shide, a PhD scholar at IIT Bombay. So if you are one of the very few uh, LaTeX lovers in your office or lab maybe, there's a high chance that your PPT loving colleagues are bullying you saying that you cannot make cool animations in LaTeX Beamer the way they do. Well those days are over, no more they can bully you because you are going to learn about how to make animations using LaTeX not only in Beamer in documents also. So there are two types of animations or maybe two ways of making animations in LaTeX. One is to use the pre-created frames other one is to use parametric animation. In this video uh, I will uh, show the first way of making animation using pre-created frames. In the next part, I will show the parametric animation. So, as you can understand from the name that uh, we need pre-created frames to make the pre-created animations. So, if you uh, look closer to these uh, files, I have 20 files uh, from here to here whose names are same. The prefix is same. It is srm underscore red and then the number varies from 0 to 19 that is I have total 20 frames if you look at the frames they look like this this is the cross section of a switch reluctance motor and the phase that is being excited is highlighted so this diagram is also made with LaTeX using the uh, ticks package all these diagrams so what I have done is I have one base file and I have changed the code again and again and I have thus created these uh, 20 frames so srm underscore red 0 to srm underscore red 19 they must be named in the same fashion only the number should change so what we will do is using these 20 frames we will create animation we will ask latex to create an animation where these 20 frames will be shown one after the other so what i will do is i will create a new latex file and first save it in the folder Okay, and we will do it in uh, standalone document class. Standalone document class is uh, that it will exactly create the border where you need. We will need two packages. One package, as you can understand, is GraphicX uh, for including of the graphics, and the other one that is required is Animate for this one. Okay, now we will uh, start writing the document. I will uh, in the document of this video you will get to see the link to the manual of this animate package you can explore it even more if you wish so this one is easy like creating pre -create, animation with pre-created uh, frames the comment is animate graphics so animate graphics there are several arguments the first one are the options uh, we will look into the options later First, we will see how to call the frames. The first one is the frame rate. Let us say I will give a frame rate of 5. So higher the frame rate, faster it will go. Next one comes the file base name. As you may, you may remember that what the way I have given the name are SRM uh, underscore rad. Okay. And the first and last, they mean the numbers. So the first number was 0. And the last number was 19. So my first file was srm underscore red 0, last one was srm underscore red 19. So what I have told LaTeX to arrange these frames in this order and to run it with a frame rate of 5. I will. Okay, so the mistake that I have done is here. This all these files are in this folder named srm. So I have to ask you to go to this folder srm. Now it is running. Uh, don't worry, you won't be able to see the animation running right here. You have to open the uh, file separately. So this is the file that we have created. We'll open it with Adobe. Okay, if you open it, open any animation file for the first time in Adobe, Adobe might ask for uh, some permissions. You have to grant the permissions. But the problem here that we are seeing is animation is not running, right? So we have to do something with the options. So I will now write the options. What is the option? It must start automatically. So auto play. Okay, auto play. 
now i will run it once again now i have given the autoplay let us see how it looks like if i open it now see it has started running so all the 20 frames are coming one by one but the problem is it has stopped now why so because i have asked it to play but i have not asked it to keep running so what i have to do is i have to do loop so autoplay and loop means it will start running and keep running now if you look into it it will now keep running the animation in this way so a beautiful animation we have created so if you if you can create your frames and then call them i will show you one more option if you need although in this case of uh, machine see machine um, analyze or not analysis just machine animation you do not need that option but that might be useful for other cases which is called palindrome okay you know what a palindrome is to do the same thing exactly opposite way this is not relevant here i am showing you only to let you know that there is such an such an option you will see it will go like this then again come back so if you require such animation where you have to show it straight and then the other way around you have to use the option called palindrome so that is the way we can create a nice animation with uh, latex the problem with this kind of pre uh, pre prepared animation is that now if i want to change something in this i have to change all the 20 frames so to overcome that overcome that we will use the parametric animation in the next video thank you for watching